Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am excited to be doing a much requested video and that is on this eye look. So I get a lot of comments from you guys saying, can I have a tutorial? So I thought I would do it. Now, um, I've had, I, I used to do makeup tutorials, but they never really took off. So I haven't really done any. Uh, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I just really like the artistry of in particular shadow. I just think it's really fun. So I'm going to take you through what I do and hopefully give you some tips and tricks on how to get this look. Uh, again, I'm 51, so this is a look that a mature woman can wear, uh, or at least I <laughs> to do it uh, but I also have hooded lids so I'm going to share with you some of my ideas on uh, how to make your lid space look a little bit bigger so I hope that it's helpful and that you enjoy and if you guys want other videos like I'm more than willing to talk about my foundation routine uh, different stuff like that um, I um, you know as you age there's more like little fine lines and stuff like that so uh, there's a few products that I feel like have been working really well for me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if anyone is really interested. So we'll see how this video does. If it does well, uh, I'll, I would consider doing more. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this eye look. Okay, so did you ever think you'd be this close to me? Probably not, but here we are and let's get started. So um, I just wanna show you the brushes that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use this uh, to kind of give my eye, eyes a bit of a wash uh, through here. Uh, then I move to one size smaller. So this one is a little bit fatter as you can see. I'll just kind of hold them here so hopefully they'll focus. So this one is a lot uh, like kind of more fanned out. It's a little more fluffy than this one. So then I'll use this to intensify the crease. And then I use this brush, which is, um, it's a little, it's M514 from Morphe. So this is really tiny and it helps me to do kind of precision work in the, the crease and through here and just kind of feather things out. It's a little bit denser and obviously smaller. I use this to blend and that is my, um, it's Morphe M200. So it's just a nice blending brush. Um, I use this little thing, I've had it for years. It's just the tiniest little brush as you can see. Can you see like the head? Uh, so any sort of liner brush and I use this to do my inner corner and then I'm going to use this to put on some glitter glue uh, for my glitter. So uh, those are the brushes I'm going to use. Now as far as palettes, I'm going to start with this Sunrise palette uh, and this is by Focalure. I think it's an Australian company. It's super affordable and it's essentially a dupe for the Huda uh, Beauty um, New Nudes palette. So I love it, uh, but the Huda Beauty palette would work the same. And I'm gonna start with this, um, I'm so out of practice of doing these. Uh, this Himalayan orange is the shade I'm gonna use first. So I take it on my brush, you can tap it off if you like, I don't bother. And this is just gonna be a real light wash. It looks pretty orange, uh, but I'm just gonna put it on. And now, of course, I've got hooded eyes, or partially hooded eyes. So um, I, I just kind of look straight ahead, and I want to kind of have my eyes resting so that I can see and make sure that I've got color. Uh, you know, if you go like this and really raise your eyebrows, you're going to have color down here, but not necessarily up here. So I really work the color into the whole entire, um, the whole entire upper lid part. Now the key is uh, using a matte color when you've got hooded lids because it helps uh, the hood kind of recede. So I go up like that. Okay, so that's basically all I do with this brush. 
then I move on to that next size. And the, the other thing that's really important is to get brushes that um, are that fit your eye size. So um, I've got rather large eyes, so uh, bigger brushes work on me. But if you've got smaller eyes, use a brush that's going to work for you so that you're not just kind of ploofing color all over, that you've got some control. So the next I'm going to go into this punch pink color. And I'm going to just kind of do it just a little bit lower and I'm using like I'm holding my brush fairly far back. I want some control uh, but I'm, I'm going in and it's like I'm coloring. So I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm touching myself very, very lightly and just kind of depositing the color and kind of just pulling it along. Uh, and I tapped very light into this color this time. So it was a really light one. You might want to tap it off. I do the same thing to the other side. And you know, I go in as many times as I need. So sometimes I don't get enough color on and I just start uh, working it in. And again, for that sunrise kind of look, uh, you want a gradient, right? So I started with the, the orange up top, and then I just go now, as you can see, this side has more color than this. So I just go tap back in and kind of work it really ever so lightly, uh, not pushing hard. The other thing about doing it this way is that you're not going to uh, be pulling unnecessarily on your lids. So just the lightest touch, and it's basically like I'm coloring. Okay, that's pretty close. Now I kind of drag it. I want that color kind of all the way across. And then like as I, I look, now I'm missing some color there, so I just tap into the orange, tap off a little excess, and then just go in. And I use the same brush, like, uh, you know, brushes are they work for me I don't so if I feel like using the same brush I will even if it has a different color on and essentially like the whole idea of painting the bar not so far off to me I treat this like I'm doing a painting and I kind of blend as I go so there now I've got it to where I am kind of happy now I'm going to move on to the last brush which is this Morphe M514 love this brush so I'm going to go into this lavender, it's called Lavender Field. And again, I don't know what the Huda Beauty names are, but um, yeah, this palette's fantastic. Uh, and then I just start again lower than that punch pink color. And I'm going to just start to work this into the crease. Now, if you're worried about uh, getting this, this next color kind of on the pink, tilt your brush so that you're starting kind of right in that crease. And this one, this brush is, is really dense, so I have a bit more control. And I'm putting that color, like with a hooded eye, it's really hard for me to do a wing because this flap comes down so far. So hooded wings just don't tend to, or like a wing don't tend to work really well with me. I do them once in a while, but honestly, they never look right because my, my crease comes all the way down, unfortunately. So some people don't have that. So I use my shadow uh, to kind of create that, that up uh, word feel. So in order to kind of position that last color, uh, you know, if you take your, your brush and kind of run it, like if you take your handle, run it along here, okay, you don't want to put that darker color any further than this line because otherwise it's going to drag your eye down. So I kind of concentrate it there, if that makes sense and then kind of just pull it up a little bit into the into that punch pink color. And then I tilt my brush down again to kind of get the color to go into that crease. And I'm gonna pull that color just a little bit further, but again, keeping it pointed down so that I get that color uh, more in the crease than up in here, if that makes sense. So kind of tucked in. Now I'm going to do the other side real quick. Okay, now I'm looking at myself straight on and as I can see I've got more kind of pink than I do over here. So I just kind of go back in with whatever brush I want and just kind of begin to just make sure that they kind of look even. 
so this isn't a quick process. Okay, and then the other thing that I do now is I take my Morphe brush at this point, and you can do this at any point, and I begin to blend them to make sure that there's no harsh lines. But when I'm blending, I start with the lightest color and then I work my way into that dark. Okay. Okay, now what I do is I take this, it's just a, oh, wrong brush. Forgot to mention this one. This one's an Amorphe M507. And it, as you can see, it's just got this little uh, kind of point. It's really quite um, like, it's just kind of a, a little bit tighter brush. And I'm gonna use that for under my eyes. I'm gonna go back into that lavender field and I'm gonna open up my eyes quite wide. And then I'm gonna to begin to just drag this on my lower lash line. Making sure it kind of connects with the top. And then a lot of times what I'll do is just shut my eye and I'll pull it across. So I don't go all the way with the first color. So the lavender field, that's the color that's here in this part. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into that Himalayan orange, which is the color way up here. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lid or the inner whatever. And now I'm gonna just kind of blend the two again, going from the darkest into the light. So there, that's what we've got so far. Now, um, now at this stage, what I would do is either leave it kind of more like this, or I deepen it up. So depending on what I was doing, so if I was going with a lighter look, I might leave it like this, but I kind of like deepening it up with a bit of uh, brown. And the reason why is it or brown or a dark burgundy. So the Hue to Beauty uh, Amethyst Obsessions, there's a beautiful dark burgundy color that I use quite often. Uh, but today what I'm gonna use is um, I've got the two, well, it was, it's not the Too Faced, it's the uh, I Heart Makeup, uh, I Heart Chocolate palette. So it's the, uh, chocolate bar palette dupe from uh, for Too Faced and I like this one actually better than the Too Faced one because this this revolution dark brown is darker than the Too Faced one and I like that so I'm gonna go back in with that same uh, Morphe brush that's like really dense I'm gonna just tap into the dark brown and I'm just gonna put that right onto the the purple and I'm just gonna just set it there kind of. I'm not moving it around really and just wiggling it around just to deposit that color. And then same thing on the other side. And like I said, the reason why I like doing this is because it kind of grounds. See, I'm not moving it around, I'm just holding it here and just kind of allowing the color to deposit. Okay, so then when I get it like that, I would go back into the purple color so the lavender field color in the Folklore palette. And I would just kind of, um, just blend out those edges. And to me that just grounds the look a lot more uh, with kind of a dark brown. That way it's not just some sort of clowny colorful, uh, colorful eye look. Well, that looks, it lo always looks so super crazy until I get my thing finished. But right now I look a little bit out of the ordinary. <laughs> now moving on to the exciting part, which is just this lid part. Um, I love using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Palette. Um, this has, it, it's actually a highlighter palette, but it has all these beautiful colors. I'm gonna use the peach color today. So I've done like kind of the orangey color up here into purple, and then I wanna finish it off with some orange to kind of pull this color in. You could do anything. You could do a light pink, you could do a lavender, but I like doing the peach. Uh, so I'm gonna use this. I love this because if you've got more mature eyes or hooded lids, uh, you want something that catches the light a little bit, but you don't want a chunky glitter. This is so fine, so it works really well. An alternative to that would be this Morphe palette. It's the Artistry palette um, 
such a gem, 39S. So in that, they have these uh, shades kind of in the center. This is such a huge palette. And they all kind of work the same way as um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like they're just more glittery, like almost like a topper. What I do is I take a, a flat kind of, uh, just a really, like, I don't know. It's just flat and I make it as flat as possible. It's not fluffy at all. And I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer. And what I do is I just apply a little bit, just a little bit on my hand like that. And then I go in with my little brush and I just pop it on to the area that I want glittered. So I start a little heavier towards the scent, like towards that inner corner, a little heavier. And then I just kind of dab it onto the, right onto the purple. So then I'm going to take this color called Regal right here and I use my finger and then I just begin to just lightly dab it on until I get the color payoff that I want. And with the glitter primer it stays put and it just looks so gorgeous. So as you can see, ah, oh, I just love it. With the glitter I'm not going above the actual mobile lid. I don't want it on the stationary lid at all. Love the reflex in this too. I just think it's so pretty. So that's what I've got so far. Now, last step for shadow is to use this teeny weeny little brush and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner. Now, I love this Ofra shadow in plastic. Um, it's gorgeous. You could use this as a highlighter too. And for me, I found, like everybody's eyes are different, I pull it a little bit up into the lid. Uh, but what I've been doing a lot lately is kind of dragging it down a little further. Just like that. And it kind of gives me a bigger eye. At least that's what I think. Again, I wanna make sure that it's smooth and blending into the other shadows. So last stage is I'm going to use a liner. Right now I'm using the Morphe uh, Lights Out Liner. And I'm gonna tight line so I just go in, kind of drag, and I wanna make sure I get it on that top, like that. So not tons. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well now it's gonna be tons because I colored onto my lid. <laughs> That's where you just work with what you got. So I have a little uh, liner brush here. I'm just gonna pull it. So I guess it's gonna get a bit more smoky today. So now I gotta do the same thing to the other side. So it kinda went up in the same spot. So you don't sweat mistakes, you just kinda work with it. What else are you gonna do? Okay, now because I did that, I'm actually gonna go into this Huda Beauty palette into the burgundy, and I'm gonna just pull that along the lash line. Just to kinda even that out a bit. It's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> okay, good enough. Actually, what I'm gonna do now, because I made that terrible mistake, is I'm going to go into this color, and I'm just gonna tap it on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of put it right in there. Just make this a bit more smoky. And then I'm going to go back into that Dream Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, go into my Regal color and I'm just gonna pat that kind of on top just ever so slightly to blend the two. Now um, I'm going to line the bottom of my waterline to finish that bottom waterline, I'm just gonna take some of that dark brown from the Revolution palette, and I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. And then what I do is I just give it a bit more of a go over, just to make sure that everything looks blended. The last thing that I would do is take some sort of uh, packer brush, or I'm just gonna use this one because I have it. I'm gonna go into a more uh, white color, like a cream color. I'm gonna use the uh, Revolution palette uh, and just kind of just edge out my eyebrow. 
And that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put mascara on, false lashes, and then I will be back. Okay, so for mascara, what I used was the Sky High Maybelline Lash Sensational uh, Mascara. It's pretty good. I don't love it. It just, it, but it does stay put. So like that. Um, and then as well, uh, for my lashes, I use Kiss. I think it's number 11. So I just buy like a multiple pack and use them and they're just, they're kind of like a, a wispy lash. So that's what I've got on the eyes. And so that's kind of like the finished look. And what I'll do to finish is put on my lipstick. Now when I go this dark on my eyes, I like to go for more of a nude lip. So I'm gonna start by using this Morphe Lip Liner in Forecast. It's almost a gray, like a taupey color, but for whatever reason, my lips, um, they, they're bigger than the color, if that makes sense. So I kind of fill it in and this kind of works uh, as my same color, so I'm gonna put that on. So that's what I do first, and I just kind of darken it on the corners. Obviously, I wouldn't have to do this if I had really big lips, but uh, I don't have big lips, so I do this. Now, um, I've got the Wow, that would have been scary. I almost put my black eyeliner on. <laughs> so this is uh, a Morphe lip liner in Fairy Dust. And it's just a real nudie peach color. So I kind of just color it on. It looks disastrous, but then I go... Kind of blend it in. And then I'm gonna use this Nude Sticks. Um, I think it's just called Nudies uh, from Nude Sticks. So that's what I've got so far. And then I'm going to use a Buxom lip gloss in the color Lavender Cosmo. And that's just going to add a bit of pink into it. So it's just, yeah. I don't know why, but I like the combo. So that's what I've got. Now I'm gonna fluff my hair up and we'll be good to go. And so this is the final look. What do you think? Should I bring you in for a close up? So you can see those eyes right close up. I wish that you could get the full effect. It doesn't quite show it on camera, just the colors, but how they're blended. And basically it's a blend, blend, blend. So you just keep on working at it until you get it where you want. And you know, you can, you can kind of have fun with it. So that's what I do. So mainly the light color is in the inner portion of the lid. Uh, and then it just comes out and what that does is it gives the illusion of uh, way larger lids. So my lids are half hooded uh, but with that little bit of light in there and just the way the shadow kind of goes like this it really gives the illusion of having a full lid. So I hope that that was helpful. I'm gonna zoom you out now. If you do this look tag me on Instagram I would love to see it and uh, yeah Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like doing on your eyes. This is kind of a go-to look for me. I just really like the brightness. Uh, and then just going with a more nude lip. Uh, the, the alternative to that is I go for a way more natural look on the eye and a brighter lip and cheek. But yeah, I really like this one. I think it looks super kind of sunsetty, summery, indeed. So that's all I have for you. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.